Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject digital logic is how to convert the Boolean functions into logic diagram. So here I am going to give us some uh, Boolean functions and that Boolean functions are going to convert into logical diagram. So by the end of this video, you get a clarity on how to convert the Boolean functions into logical diagrams in an easy manner. Okay, so we all know that the logical diagrams are constructed by using different gates. So the gates are nothing but the uh, end gate, OR gate, XOR gate, NOR gate. So there are different types of gates are there. So with the help of those gates, we are constructing the logical diagrams. Now let's see. This is a Boolean function. This function need to convert into logical diagram. How can I go? Uh, convert this into logical diagram the first step you have to be uh, get a clarity here what type of gate here it is using so this is x y z x y z so this is a product so whenever we are using the product we have to use end gate we have to use the end gate okay so x is an input y is an input put and z dash z dash here it is a complement okay take the not gate so x y z dash are connected to end gate that's it that's a simple thing x y z dash i'm using the end gate so this is the final result f1 is equal to x y z dash let's see another example here i am taking another function the boolean function f2 is equal to x plus y dash z so what i said the first step is you have to observe the boolean function so in this function uh, what are the gates that are included so here this is a product and here it is a sum whenever the plus is there it represents the sum Okay, whenever this type of expression sits there, it is nothing but the product. Sum is there means we have to use the OR gate. Whenever the sum is there, you have to use the OR gate. And product means you have to use the end gate. That is what I had said in this example. Now let's start constructing the logic diagram. So what are the input? X, okay, X, Y dash and Z. So x is a normal and y dash is a complement. You need to take the complement. And this is a z. This is a z. So here I have taken this expression. So y dash and z is nothing but here you need to use the end gate. Okay, here you need to use the end gate. So let's use the end gate. So what is the output here? The output here is y dash z. So now the final expression is x plus y dash z. x plus y dash z. Plus means what gate we have to use or gate. Or gate. So this is my final expression. x y dash x plus x plus y dash z. So the first thing is you have to construct a gate for the product and then finally you need to use the OR gate. So let's have a look on another example. I already said by the end of this video you get a clarity on how to construct convert the boolean functions into logic diagrams. Let me take one more example here. So the example here I am taking f3 is equal to x dash y dash z plus x dash y z plus x y dash. So what I said, the first thing is you have to observe how many gates are there here. So here I am using three products. That means three end gates. Three end gates I need to be used. So first construct with x, y dash, z. Okay. So x dash, y dash and z. Okay. So this comes under one end gate. This is one end gate. What is this? X dash, Y dash, Z. So what is the next expression? X dash, Y, Z. So X dash means 
you have to start here this is x dash y means here and z means here so this is another gate what is the output here this is x dash y and z and what is the final thing x y dash so x and y dash y dash means you have to take here y dash this all comes under one another end gate x y dash and finally what we need to do we have to combine all these expressions okay x and these expression these expression so total three inputs are coming here which are connected to nor gate or gate a three inputs so what are the three inputs here x dash y dash z and another input is x dash y z and another input is x y dash which is my f3 okay so now let's have a look on another example so i think already you get the clarity on how to convert the boolean x functions into logic diagram if not don't worry still i am going to explain one more example here f4 is equal to x y dash plus x x dash z so the first thing what i said first observe how many gates here there are two end gates this is one end gate and this is another end gate these two end gates need to connect with the or gate okay so first connect with one end gate x y dash y dash means y complement this will be connected to one end gate here the output is x y dash and let's take with another end gate that is x dash x dash means you need to take the complement complement and z z means another new variable this is another end gate what is the output here the output is whatever the input i taken that is the x dash and z and again these two are connected to or gate because this plus is there here or gate okay so what is this here this is one input x y dash plus another input is x dash z which is equal to f4 so this is a way you need to convert the boolean functions into logic diagram whatever it is you know that the logical the boolean functions are in the complement the variables are in the complements or in no complement form complement form or no complement form so whenever the complement is there just add the not gate if complement is not there just write the single line and only the thing is here we are using the end gates or gate nor gates x nor gates those gates are we are using for constructing the logical diagram so this is a what type of whatever the expression they are given you can easily convert that expression into logical diagram thank you